Hey guys, today's lesson has been brought to you by Baby Chicks. Sorry, I scared them. So we are going to be talking today about data and categorical data. So that means we're focusing on frequency tables and bar graphs. And so we are going to be talking about those two today and what better way to use than our baby chicks. So here we are, we're going to be talking about categorical data and this is a video lesson once again. And our goal today is to be able to create categorical data, which is going to be frequency tables and bar graphs, and then also be able to answer questions with those frequency tables and bar graphs. So let's go ahead and start with frequency tables. So what is a frequency table? Well, a frequency table is something you kind of use to keep tally. So it's going to look like this. So when you're going to interview some people, so say you interviewed your class and you want to see what what type of pet do they have? What is their favorite type of pet? Whatever it may be, you go around and you create a little tally for every single person. And then when you are all finished, you can add those tallies up to make your frequency. Now, just again, as a reminder, a bundle of five, these every five is going to have four lines down and one across. And that just makes it easier for you to count later on. So this is tally frequency table. So let's go ahead and let's create one with my chickens. So let's take the type of chickens I have. Well, I can make a frequency table that looks like this, the type of chickens, the tally, and the frequency. I want you to go ahead and create this on your paper. So I have ISA brown chickens, yellow link chickens, Rhode Island red chickens, French cuckoo marin chickens, and black link chickens, and the Brahma chickens. Those are the type of chickens that we have at our house. So I want you, if you haven't already, pause and finish the table. But I'm going to go through and show you my chickens that I have, and I want you to create a tally for each one of those. Here we go. So here is the baby chicks that we just got. These are the ISA brown chickens. We'll have one here, one here, one here. This is the only one that's named so far. Its name is Nugget. One here, one here, one here, one here is facing sideways, kind of blends in with the background. Here, here, and here. So those are the ISA brown chickens that we have. So hopefully you have a tally mark for each one of those. Then we have our full grown chickens. This is a Brahma. Her name is Mama, Brahma Mama. This is a French Cuckoo Marin. Her name is Frenchie. Then we have another French Cuckoo Marin. She likes to sit inside that nesting box all the time. But she does get out to eat, as you can see. Her name is Cuckoo, because she's crazy. Then we have our yellow link chicken sun, sunflower. We have one of our Rhode Island reds. This one's just name is Red. She's kind of crazy. We have another Rhode Island red. This one's Millie. We have a black link. This one's Pip. We have another Rhode Island red. This one's name is Maud. Then we have another black link. Even though it has some brown feathers in there, it's still a black link. And this one is Dash. And those are our chickens. So hopefully you have all of the tallies. I'm going to go through my tallies. So if I was going through the tallies, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of those ISA browns. Then we had a Brahma, a French Cuckoo Marin, another French Cuckoo Marin, a yellow link, a Rhode Island Red, another Rhode Island Red, a black link, another Rhode Island Red, and then the last is a black link. So this is what the tallies should look like. So you have your tallies right here. They're all tallied up, and we just count them for our frequency table. The IC Browns had 10. The Yellow Links had 1, 3 Rhode Island Reds, 2 French Cuckoo Marins, 2 Black Links, and one Brahma. So those are the chickens that we have. So let's get to some questions that you might ask or some questions you might come across when you have frequency tables. So one example of a question was, how many chickens are not ISA brown chickens? I want you to go ahead and pause and see if you can figure that out. Well, if you want to know how many are not ISA brown chickens, well, you count up all of the other ones. So one, three, it was four. Four plus two is six. Six plus two is eight. 8 plus 1 is going to be 9. So our answer is 9 chickens. So 9 chickens are not ISA brown chickens. So let's go to another question. Based on the data, 
How many chickens were one of the four highest frequency? It's kind of a weird question. Let me read it again. Based on the data, how many chickens were one of the four highest frequency? So I'd go ahead and pause and see. Well, if we're looking for the four highest frequency, that's the biggest number. So I say Browns was 10, Rhode Island Red was 3, French Cuckoo Marin was 2, and the Black Link was 2. So we're going to add up those because those are the four highest. So 10 plus 3 is 13, 13 plus 2 is 15, 15 plus 2 is 17. So we had 17 chickens were not, were four of the highest frequency. Okay. And let's get into bar graphs. So bar graphs are going to be very similar. You, you're going to have uh, categorical data. So you put your words on the, so on the bottom. A lot of, sometimes you might see them on the side over here, but we're going to see a lot of times on the bottom and the bars go up. Um, so this is the number on the side. So you have categories down here, the number of people or the frequency over there, and then your title. So in this category, we had comedy was four, action, was five it's between four and six they didn't label it but we can tell it's five because that's halfway between four and six romance ooh la la like the people like the romance six for romance drama was halfway between zero and two making it one it's right at that one line sci-fi is going to be four so that's how you read a bar graph you might also see a bar graph that looks like this it looks crazy but this is one way you can have multiple pieces of data on the same one so you'd have your categories this key to the side over here young adult is blue classics are yellow mystery are red romance is green and sci-fi is fantasy people really like that romance and then so this could represent each one of the years so 2006 2007 and then how much they made so this is an example of when you have multiple pieces of data on the same bar graph but we aren't going to be focusing on that today we're going to be focusing just on one piece of data on the bar graph so i want you to go ahead and make a bar graph like this on your paper so we put our category our categorical information at the top. So the no names of the chickens at the bottom, we're doing types of chickens, so the name of the chickens at the bottom, number of chickens on the side. Again, we could have put these on the left and the numbers on the right, but this is just how we did it. Once you've created this, I want you to use the frequency table information to fill in this bar graph. Well, hopefully you were able to pause and you were able to fill in yours. So let's go ahead and see if my bar graph matches yours. If you haven't already, go ahead and try it. All right, so for my ISA brown chickens, there were 10. So I have a bar that goes all the way to the top. Then we have yellow link was one. So it goes up one and I'm putting mine different colors. It's okay if yours weren't. I just like the colors, they're so pretty. Rhode Island reds had three. So we went up to the third. French Cuckoo Marins had two, the Black Lynx had two, and the Brahma had one. So mine looks like this, yours should look like this as well. Maybe not the same colors, but that's how it is. All right, so let's go ahead and ask some questions that you might come across with a bar graph. Very similar to the frequency table, but some questions. So how many of the chickens are Black Link, Yellow Link, and French Cuckoo Marin? So hopefully you're able to pause and see the yellow link was one, the French Cuckoo Marin is two, and the black link is two. We add those up, two plus two is four, plus one is five. So I have five chickens. All right, let's go to the next one. How many more of the chickens are ISA Browns than all of the other chickens combined? So I want you to go ahead and pause and see if you can solve that. How many more of the chickens are ISA Browns than all of the other chickens combined? Well, we count up all the other chickens. So yellow was one, Rhode Island red is three, so that's four. Two more is six. Two more than that is eight. And then one more is nine. So nine of the chickens are not ISA Brown chickens, which we already covered that question. And so then we do 10 minus nine is one. So that is basically it. That is our video on categorical data. That's it. So if you have any questions, please ask your teachers. Go ahead and contact them for more information on that. Teachers would love to help you. Um, now let's get back to what we really want to see, the chick 